My dear sir, the first action of the Battle of Manchester is over, and has, I'm happy to say, ended in the complete discomfiture of the enemy. Hunt made his appearance about half past twelve in his carriage, accompanied by three males, a very good-looking female, bearing a very fine silk flag, about three thousand rebel with a band of music, several, perhaps six colours, and one cap of liberty. They arrived at the hustings about one o'clock. In less than a quarter of an hour, the magistracy thought it right to take Hunt into custody. This the mob attempted to resist. The military were at hand and rushed upon them, and there was the hell to pay. The number that were rowed over might have been very great. I don't know that any of them were killed. I saw several carried very badly wounded to the hospital. I'm sorry to say one of the Manchester cavalry was shot dead, and two or three of the constables very badly wounded. One of the 15th Hussars had his arm broken and was badly cut on the head. We have taken Hunt, Johnson, and three or four of their sort with two reform ladies and lodged them in the new bailey. The whole business was settled in five minutes. I was at a short distance from the ground and brought the guns up at a gallop, but the business was nearly settled by that time, and I had the pleasure of seeing Hunt secured and sent off, the colours and cap of liberty in the hands of our troops, the hustings torn to pieces, and I must not say the pleasure of seeing the field of battle covered with hats, sticks, shoes, laurel branches, drum heads. In short, the field was as complete as I'd ever seen one after an action. The mob fired some shots about eight or nine from the tops of the houses and out of the windows, which were returned by our skirmishing infantry. We remained in full possession of our ground for about one and a half hours, and then moved through the town to the barracks. I was very much amused to see the way in which the volunteer cavalry knocked the people about during the whole time we remained upon the ground. The instant they saw ten or a dozen mobites together, they rode at them and leathered them properly. We are not by any means quiet. A squadron is this moment ordered down, but I don't know that it is anything more than precautions, and we remain harnessed, ready to turn out at a moment's notice. I think I have now told you all I know. I hope you are able to read what I have written, but I am sure you would excuse it all, could you see the hurried way in which I am writing.